Hi, we're going to see some logic gates, okay? Or logic device. So let's get started. As you see here, this is the not gate, okay? This is the symbol of not gate. We have here triangle with this small circle over here. So this is a not gate. So this is input and this is output. So for the not gate, when we have, for example, here one, the output, the output will become zero. And if we have zero, the output will become one. Why? Because this is a not gate. This circle means not. Okay. Here we have the end gate. As you see, we have A and B, two inputs. Okay, for the end gate, we have two inputs and we have output over here. Okay, so here we have the NAND, as you see, NAND gate. Okay, so the NAND gate, we have so two inputs and we have output with this small circle. Okay, so this is the OR gate. Okay, we have A and B, so two inputs. And we have one input. This is the symbol of our gate. Here we have nor gate. Always this circle means nor, as you see, in circle. We have here circle, we have not. We have here circle, we have nand. Okay? So here we have the XR gate. Okay? XR gate. As you see, the same as our gate, but we have another symbol here or sheep here okay we have two inputs and outputs so this is x or gate and over here we have the x nor gate why because we have not here the circle here so we have a b and we have output okay so not gate end gate end gate we have the or gate the nor gate XR gates and the XR gates. Okay, so let's go right now to the next slide. So in this slide, we're going to see the same gates with another equivalent symbol. Okay, so for the R gate, as you see here, we have the R gate. See, so this is the normal symbol for the R gate. With here, we have here A. E, and B, so two inputs, okay. And here we have output, okay. So this gate is exactly like this. This symbol equal this symbol. So this is an equivalent symbol. So we have two inputs always here. Also here we have two inputs. We have output. We have output. And instead of this shape, we have this rectangle with greater or equal one so this is or gate and this is or gate okay so here we have end gate as you see this is end gate okay or let's see first the nor gate okay we have or gate and we have here the nor gate so the nor gate always has this small circle so here also it has this circle okay so the same symbol this and this is the same symbol okay but for the non gate we add this small circle okay so now let's see the end gate as you see we have the end gate symbol the normal symbol and this is another equivalent symbol okay we have two inputs and we have output and with this end symbol okay so we have end gate for the end gate as you see so the same symbol as this exactly the same symbol but adding this circle always this is not okay so we have end gate and we have an end gate as you see this is circular exactly like this one okay so let's see now the not gate so this is not gate okay we have just one output here and we have the output over here and we have this not circle 
also for this this is its shape we have equal to one and this circle so this is not gate equivalent okay now let's see the x or gate as you see here we have the normal symbol or gate for x or gate as you see we have two input and we have one output also here we have two input and we have one output with equal one so this is the equivalent symbol okay for the xnor gate we have this circle okay we have because we have nor okay so we have this circle as you see we have here circle we have here circle so this is x nor gate and this is x nor gate okay so we have or gate nor gate and gate nand gate mot gate and x or gate and x nor gate okay so you can use this symbol okay or this this or this okay as you want but usually we use this symbols okay over here in this slide we have the flip-flops okay as you see there is a logical gate and there is a flip-flops always the flip-flops made of gates are made it by gates okay by logic gates so we have here the d type so let's raise this so we have here the d type flip flop as you see the input is d okay and we have two outputs we have q and we have q bar if q is zero q bar will become one if q is one the q bar will become zero okay so d q and q bar this is the input for the d type flip flop for data latch flip-flop so we have the d input and we have enable okay always we have here q and q bar so if q is zero q bar will become one if one q bar will become zero but we have here an activated signal enable signal this flip-flop will not work if this in enable signal is not present okay so here we have s r flip-flop we have so two inputs s and r flip-flop and we have two outputs always two outputs as you see we have q and q1 so s r q and q1 the same principle if q is zero q bar will be one if q is one q bar will be zero okay and here we have the gk okay gk flip-flop and with two output okay this is g and this is k flip-flop and this is the output okay so this is all about flip-flops this is an introduction about flip-flops okay so this is the d type flip-flop data large flip-flop with enable signal we have here sr flip-flop and gk flip-flop okay